So it's easy with hindsight now to look at where craft beer has gone, but it must have been so unknown at that point to be a part of something that was such a crucial part of that movement, but no one knew what that movement even was yet. Yeah, no, people, people had, you know, or certainly I had no idea, uh, you know, that there would be a movement. I remember sometime in the 80s, um, Fritz did an interview that we saw years later and we, we laughed about. He, he said in an interview that he could envision a time when there might be 40 or 50 breweries just like ours around the country. And so, you know, he he was on the right track, but you know, he <laughs> underestimated it by a few thousand, I guess. Wow. And what was what was the basis of the excitement around what you were doing? I mean, and where did everyone you mentioned kind of just taking over the world? Um, what was the goal? What did success look like to you guys? I don't think I don't think success at that point was um in sales number of cases sold mm -hmm. or barrels sold or anything like that i was th i think it was more in terms of wanting people to be exposed to what we thought was a, a a product that was really really good and and you know that most beer that was available out there was all the same that mm -hmm. you know beer it was almost like a commodity and um you know it was yellow american beer and, you know, there are people that were into imports, but the quality of imports was kind of, you know, especially by the time they got to the West Coast, like fresh mm -hmm. imported beer, uh, you know. So it, I think I think success was getting people to recognize that this is a great product or products mm -hmm. and um, that there's more to beer than what was readily, readily available to them. And did that feel like an uh, attainable goal was that a pipe dream was that wishful thinking i mean what was what was your guys' experience sharing what you were doing with the market again you know it's like i, I mean fritz and mark carpenter probably had more experience and and a more thought out idea of what was possible and what was attainable you know f for us you know in our early 20s we we thought yeah, you know, if if we talk to people or if they try it, they'll like it. You know, mm -hmm. they'll they'll be impressed with with what we do here. 